Rock Bottom Coins are the number one place to get your Madden coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 10% off. Hey, Fox here. So, we got a lot to talk about, right? We got the LTDs, uh, we got New Year's Eve or New Year's offers, I guess, uh, you know, coin methods, make right talk, best free 95, our legend's gonna go up in overall here, um, did the coin method work when I did it with like 6 million plus coins yesterday, um, and uh, let's get right into it right away, let's just start at the top, right, okay, so, we're on the store. These packs, if, especially if I go back one page, you can see like the summation of what's on its way. So for 50%, for 50% wow, off for 72 hours, we got the All Pro Redux. If you are going to buy this, I like, you know, you can get it now while the market's high or you can save it for the next Redux. But the thing is, the next Redux is coming after the TVP expires, in my opinion. Like, we'll really know tonight, well, tomorrow probably. Depends on when they uh, kind of show us them. Uh, but like, this goes away in five days, okay? And generally, you know, if we get Legends 96 tomorrow, because, you know, it's about time that we went up to 96 overall just based off our, you know, regular cadence, they could wait a week. I don't know. They could do what they want. But the Reduxes won't come out then for two weeks, right? Because it's usually it's a, like a week-ish after the new ones come out or a week plus 10 days. I don't know. It is what it is. It comes out a little bit afterwards. But this will probably be gone by then. So the market will be lower. So, like, you're like, well... Should I buy these Reduxes now? It's kind of like, you know, six in one hand, half a dozen in another. Um, uh, or, you know, a bird in the hand equals two in the bush and a poop pooping in the woods. But that's kind of the, that's kind of thought around the All-Pro Redux. Save it, sure, for the new Reduxes or just pull it now since the market's higher. The market has dropped a little bit today due to these packs. I would, I would assume it's due to these uh, because why else would the market drop on an off day other than people know, well i mean to be fair people don't drive as much training on non-new limited days like tomorrow we'll have new limiteds and everything and that'll be cool um uh, anyways three of five 91 plus overall elite players i think i'm gonna open up on stream today twitch.tv slash got fox so stop by um sorry youtube video we just got so much thing to go through but anyways pro platinum legend bundle these are coming out let's take a look at it 12.31, 10.30 a.m., and then 12.31, uh, 10.30 a.m. too for the time dilation bundle. You know, it's kind of giving us good value on old content, which is something they do. A 95 overall, zero chill ghost champions for 4,200. It'll be a good time to snipe those things. On uh, uh, What is the 12.31? That's tomorrow morning uh, when these things come out. Maybe we'll do a video on them on New Year's Eve. Super Bowl MVP bundle still out there for five days. I'm not going to buy it um not not a fan of spending 150 dollars on one pack like 100 bucks is already crazy 150 sure i could do it but no thank you all right because like the, the the 90 overall you know mvp i think it's b and d right you can quick sell for a lot of coins but whatever i'll just get it when it comes out after the super bowl so that's kind of what's going on with the store with it with the new year's eve offers that we traditionally get so that's kind of like the special things on their way um i did want to talk a little bit about my lineup right um and uh, before we get into some more like coins and stuff here's what i'm currently rocking with right the biggest question on offense i have is tom brady with fearless or not right you're like why are you running barry sanders it's free evasive and like it, like if you look at all the top running backs they're basically all the same right like earl campbell i, I think he might be like one of the better power backs but like marshawn lynch has got bruiser for free um so i'm really addicted to free abilities as everybody should be we've been talking about it all year um, I went with this Plaxico card right here. 3 AP for short in and short out. I could go Cooks there, but Plax is big and he's a, and he's a Steeler. I don't know why they've never put him in Steelers uniforms this year, right? You got two Giants cards. Come out. Come out. The Steeler hates ridiculous. So, like, sadly, his, his abilities aren't the greatest. Like, CD gets short in for free. Plax doesn't, you know, C. Smith gives him free. But anyways, the biggest decision between going with a full secure protector O-line or fearless on Tom Brady, right? I'd have to get rid of my secure protectors on the interior. Those things fight inside stuffs pretty well. Um, so it makes running the ball a lot easier on like the occasions that I do run the ball. Obviously, you need secure protector or edge protector on your edges. Secure protector, people ask me a lot, is better than edge protector. Maybe I'll update my ability spreadsheet and do a video on that here in the coming days. Um, that's offense. And then defense, here's what I've been rolling with. Jair Alexander's here because I tested him out. Go watch the second channel for any game, for gameplay on this squad that we got out. I accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally made 
the next two videos live. I wanted one one this morning, one tomorrow morning, and I made them both live this morning. So you go check out both of those. Jair, probably going to get uh, re-replaced with a, a zero AP pick artist here. But the really interesting part, and I'll try, try it out today on stream. I'm going to try film study on him. He's the only card in the game that gets film study. So we'll have to maneuver things, some, some things around. I really love deep out, mid out, or mid knockouts along with pick artists. Like all these guys get this for three. I might obviously get rid of Bobby Wagner. Um, go back to zero AP lurker on a user there. And then uh, get rid of the one AP on Jair and put mid zone back on uh, Charles Woodson. So they're going to have like four guys with mid zone and deep zone knockouts. Because it's, it's so powerful having a zone coverage that can actually play well out there at least a little bit. They're still pretty dumb and flats and everything. But, anyways, that's kind of what my lineup's looking like right now. I rotate my defensive linemen. So, like, I have I run nickel normal and big nickel. And I run four in, four defensive linemen and nickel normal. TJ Watt. Um, I run TJ Watt. Curse. And then my backups are... My, my backup defensive ends are Bruce Smith and Cameron Wake. And then my, you know, starting defensive tackles, Warren Sapp, Buckner. My backup defensive tackles, Merlin Olsen, Reggie White. So those are kind of like the, the like the four that I rotate. So that way I can kind of like keep the, the, the resistance on the offensive lineman down. And sometimes near the end of the game, I even switch them around for better pass rush. Um, just to like reset resistances and stuff. There's the specialists right here. Uh, by the way, like I said, it's going to get replaced. Go back to a safety there. Bo Jackson, the best user I've used all year. He's crazy out there. And then uh, I use the let it rip for throw power and bull rush strat for more defensive line. Um, right there. Since I'm since I'm basically using knockouts on the DBs and the abilities there, I decided to add all the attributes to the D line to try and get better deltas between my pass rush stats and their pass block stats, or you know block shed and uh, run blocking stats. Pass balance forty six is what I'm rolling with, and so I want to talk about that a little bit. Now let's talk about let's talk about a little strategy around the ninety five overalls. So this is a long video, but we there's so many things to go around. So. Basically, like with your free 95 overall, you really got to dissect your team. Go ahead and, and go down to the zero chill and just do the 95s, right? So you get that 95 NAT pack. In my opinion, okay, in my opinion, because we get new receivers, new DBs, new quarterbacks, new running backs like every week, Carmichael's cool, but he was really bad in zone for me deep especially. Ward is good if you run a, a, a man scheme. Ted Hendricks is probably, like, the best DB. At least he's, like, you know, tall as heck. He was way better than Carmichael, from my experience. We also had uh, uh, Megatron's been phenomenal for me, too, if you do decide to go with, like, a DB here. But I really like uh, just solving a position for the year, right? Creed Humphrey with free identifier. I don't know when you're going to get another center, right? Free identifier and a 1 AP secure protector on your on your center, it's so good. Or Munoz, same thing. Secure protector. Your left tackle's basically solved until the end game, right? Like you don't really need to upgrade that much. Look at these, look at these attributes. They're like mid 90s. So getting a free lineman, I know you're like, oh, 95 lineman. Depends on how long you can play the game. If you're gonna only play the game for another month, maybe go ahead and get Hendrix or Megatron as a DB. But if you're gonna play the game, you know, through the Super Bowl, into the offseason getting creed or muñoz there and you're never upgrading that position ever again and then you can keep trying to like out new receivers and stuff to see who you like because the worst is getting a guy that you hate and offensive linemen you're not gonna hate them you're, you're not gonna love them but they're gonna be about as bad as everybody else but at least free identifier and creed is it's solved i just i hate how they brought out free identifier. they should run out free conductor before they brought out free identifier free identifier is stupid that's like there needs to be a there needs to be a downside to using one AP on identifier. And there is none now. I, I was very disappointed when they brought out free identifier. All right, um, uh, coin methods. Take a look at sets. A lot of sets are kind of washed right now. I don't mind something like team builders. I think the '80s might still be up a little bit. Um, definitely look into those. I know somebody said all playbooks worked out well for them. I try not to investigate sets because as soon as I find sets that are profitable, I can't I can't shut up about them. So. Team builders are always a nice one because they're always just high and people are, are too lazy to like filter down and find their own team builders. Let's just go ahead and uh, look to team builder prices. Um, let, like not just not just like the low ones or the high ones, but both of them. Look into team builders. Am I drunk? Where are they? There they are. 
Team builders, 84s are at 18K. That's got to be profit, right? And then uh, the high-end ones, 80, 88s. I always I always mess up the uh, team builder overalls for some reason. I'm thinking of, like, the other John Elway set. I know John Elway set's profitable, but it, like, risks a ban, so I hate some of, some of that stuff. So definitely look to that uh, for, for coins right now. Investments. Uh, limited limited investments lately have been pretty good which is strange because all year they've been bad i think so many people this year got burned on limited investments that people stopped doing it so once people start doing more of these limited investments we're going to start seeing more l's but overall like the problem with investing in like if you invest in limiteds and packs right now bo jackson's there he's done like right he, he was selling for like 650 so he's he's profit right now you can expect him to go up 800 900k if you really want to risk it the problem is we're only like like i said maybe 10 days two weeks out max from 96 overalls and him getting reduxed so good luck with that um but you know maybe maybe ea delays it because they've been out of the office i i don't that's the thing about investment there's all those things so anyways bo jackson was a successful limited the zero chill limiteds have been successful limiteds like we talked about a, a few weeks back uh, was looking, but look back into limited investing. Hopefully, you guys are able to make coins off of that. Last thing I want to wrap up is did the coin method from my video the other day work? Like I said in the video, it was luck based. Good luck. Uh, it did not work for me. It has not worked for many people at a large sample size, but for some people, it did really work. Um, especially like selling like 90s and above because they're going for like like this. If this pack pays out at a good enough ratio, okay, but. It didn't. It did not work at all for me. I I, I got wrecked. I spent like six million, and uh, we lost a fair amount of value on it. So, no, it, it can work in sample size because that's just how random works. But mostly, you're gonna lose. So that's it for the video. Bye.